Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Pots, Pans, and Priscilla. Today we are going to be making a fun recipe for that cold weather outside right now. You're going to be able to cuddle up on the couch, snuggle together, and enjoy some potato soup and a grilled cheese with Munster and pepper jelly. I'm also going to have an option for those of you that want to make this vegetarian. So let's get cooking. Our ingredients for this are going to be potatoes, bacon, chicken broth, Cajun seasoning, salt and pepper, onion, pepper jack cheese, milk, heavy whipping cream, some celery, carrots, and parsley. And then for the grilled cheese sandwich, we're going to have pepper jelly, Munster cheese, a loaf of bread, and mayonnaise. All right guys, so I went ahead and cut my bacon, shredded some cheese, that'll be for the topping. I am gonna leave my bacon in the soup. You're gonna love it. And then we're gonna put that in our pot and come back and cut some of these fresh veggies. For my vegetarian guys out there, you will not use the bacon, obviously, or you could use a substitute bacon if that's what you prefer, and you're not gonna use the chicken broth. So then you have a veggie potato soup. There you go. Everybody's happy. We love our vegetarian friends, but there is nothing like the smell of cooked bacon. But while that's going, we're gonna go ahead and rinse these vegetables off. I've got my celery, my carrots, and my potatoes. Rinse those off and come back and we'll show you how to dice them up. guys it's that time we gotta cut some onions which means we need our birth control glasses on okay if you need a pair of these they're gonna be linked down below they're awesome you can use them outside of the kitchen too you know if you're if your man just can't keep his paws off of you throw these suckers on get some every time now because we're making a soup you don't want big chunks so make sure you dice it pretty small All right, so I've got my onion done. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cut the celery and potato, um, these are carrots. That's what I'm cutting, carrots. I think I'm gonna end up only using two stalks of celery. You don't want that to overpower your soup. So if you like the celery taste, if that's a thing, then go ahead, have at it. Use all the celery. All right, so we have all of our veggies chopped up here. I ended up going with two stalks of celery, one onion, and one carrot. And the reason I did that is because it's potato soup. You don't wanna take away from the star of the show. You know, it's like wearing a white dress on someone else's wedding day. Girl, you don't do that. So we can't take away from this guy over here. He's gonna be mad. So we're just gonna go with one, two, one. Got it? Two, one, one. However you wanna remember it. And let's get going on chopping these potatoes. We're probably gonna use six potatoes, okay? Okay, all right guys, so about halfway through cutting your potatoes, you're peeling them, you need to go ahead and throw those vegetables in the pot. They need to cook for about five minutes before you add your potatoes to the party. The potatoes are like they're like that high maintenance friend that shows up after everybody else. That, that's what you're dealing with here. It's time for the main star of the show. Okay, we have our potatoes diced. We're gonna throw those in there. We've got everybody is at the party. Now we need to add a little spice to their party. So we are going to put our pepper, salt, The man of the hour, Cajun seasoning. Woo! I want to be at that party. Cook, mix it around so everybody gets to meet them. We're going to take our chicken broth. Again, if you're going veggie style on this, you're going to use vegetable broth. We are going to pour this whole box in, which 32 ounces, so four cups. Okay guys, everyone is submerged. We need to get this to come up to a boil. 
We're gonna boil it for about 10 minutes until those potatoes start to get a little soft. And then, then the good stuff comes. So again, we're gonna bump up that heat and let it go. What goes great with soup? Grilled cheese. Uh, yeah, but not just any grilled cheese. You don't wanna get hashtag basic grilled cheese. You want a grilled cheese. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with some butter in our pan, cause why not, it's butter. Move it around so it likes your bread when you put it down, okay? You are going to take bread and mayonnaise, not butter, mayonnaise. You're gonna put mayonnaise on one side of that piece of bread. You don't have to be shy now. This is not a diet grilled cheese sandwich by any means. Pro tip, put, put those two pieces together so you have mayonnaise to mayonnaise side. Then you're gonna take your pepper jelly and put it all over the other side of the bread. Our soup's over here really letting us know that it's there. We're gonna go ahead and turn that heat down a little bit. Flip it over and do the other side. You're gonna place it in the pan, mayonnaise side down. This one, you can just kind of set to the side for a second. You're gonna take your Munster cheese, put it right on top of that pepper jelly. Take your other slice and put it on top. This is gonna be so easy, you guys. Now, you're looking for that brown, perfect tan. You know what I'm talking about. We're not there yet. All right, guys, I think we are there. We are at that perfect brown. You ready to flip it? Woo, doggy. Oh, I'm so excited. What do you think of this for a grilled cheese? Munster and pepper jack jelly. Mm-hmm. Y'all are gonna love this. Do, do you wanna smell it? Yum. Okay, we gotta get back to our potato soup. It needs our attention. This is going so well. It, I'm so excited, I couldn't be happier. But now you're gonna take your potato masher and just kind of mash the potatoes, but in the pot. You don't have to have like, you're not making mashed potatoes, you're making potato soup. Remember that, don't, don't get off course. But, so don't go crazy with your masher. Just, just give it a little love, you know? Just a little love. There we go, that's what we're looking for. So let me show you the texture. Can you see that? That's what you're looking for. Yes. So now you're gonna take your flour and add it to your milk. Mix that up really good. And then pour it into your soup. You've got your potatoes, all your veggies, everything is, they're loving each other. They are having a grand old party, y'all. So you can add it slowly. And then mix your soup. Mm -mm. You know, I don't want to pat myself on the back or anything, but I can throw a party, let me tell you. This is looking fantastic. Remember that bacon we cooked earlier? We're gonna take some of that. We're gonna just sprinkle it in to our potato soup. Leave some though, because at the end, you're gonna put it on top to make it look good. So go ahead and let this cook for about five minutes. All right, the time has come. Do you need more spices in your life? We don't. We're good. We're good on our spices. But we do need some cream, okay? Need a little bit of cream. Just pour it right in there. I decided I like my potato soup the way I like myself. A little thick, a little chunky, mm-hmm, and lots of loving. Because I like lots of loving, y'all. Okay, this is, this is, 
this is where it's at. This is the texture, the consistency. It's, it's pretty much perfect. If you want to taste it one more time, just to say you're acting like it needs more spices, you, you go ahead. Nobody's judging you. Go on with your bad self. All right, guys, we're going to get this plated up. Wait till you see what it looks like. As always, thank you so much for watching. Please hit that thumbs up button if you liked the video, even if you didn't. Subscribe if you haven't done so already, and share your favorite video. Thank you guys so much. We'll see you next time. Bye. Are you giving me sexy eyes while you eat my potato soup? I mean, I like my potato soup like I like my women too. Ooh. See you ladies? <laughs> Game changer potato soup. Who knew? Yeah. It's good, huh? Yeah. Hot and chunky. <laughs> I told you. It's the best you've ever made it. It's That's that good. so good, you guys.